What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, we know about Terrica Williams. Now, who is Terrica Williams, for those of you who don't understand who she is? Well, Terrica Williams graduated from uh, the prestigious HBCU, Florida A&M University. Uh, for me, I have a lot of respect for Florida A&M, um, not because of, you know, you know, the football team or anything like that or the band. Well, Florida A&M is one of the few uh, HBCUs that offers um, a pharmacy school there. They have a, a pretty decent uh, law school and they also offer uh, you know, uh, a lot of things in STEM. So a lot of our, a lot of the blacks that come in from chemical engineering, civil engineering, um, you know, that's a and was one of those schools that does that. So I always have had a lot of love for Florida a and and Prairie View a and schools like that, right? I have a lot of respect for these schools. And most of our ancestors, um, people that fought for us in the civil rights, they went to the Tuskegee's, uh, the Morehouse's, uh, the Prairie View and a and So I will never disrespect Howard's and Hamptons I will never do that because these are the people that gave our people a shot and they are still giving black students a shot till this day. Unfortunately, Terrica Williams, who graduated with a master's degree in education, decided to do something against the school guidelines. What did she do? She took a nude photo in front of the HBCU's mascot, which was the rattlesnake, and she did it with her ass out. Now, obviously, we can't show you that photo but she did it with um like a, a, a like a weave full of snakes coming from her head and then it went viral and she she put this on their initial post she put anybody who knows me knows that i've been dressed and provocative my whole life there's a lot of assumptions that have come with me accepting my body a lot of people question my capabilities and intelligence solely based on how i dress as i'm standing here with my master's degree at the tender age of 24 I am the living proof that clothes do not define you. I encourage everybody to embrace their bodies and step outside of their social norms. So now, as the school investigated the incident, um, the school has decided that they may take back her degree. Her degree may not be conferred based on her actions. Now, this is what she put on her Instagram stories. Instead of her trying to be apologetic for her actions, telling the school that she is very sorry, that she will comply and do whatever she wants to, you know, to make the school feel bad about what, you know, or, or for the school to understand that she is in a submissive position here because she's the one in the wrong. She didn't do that. She writes this, if I'm going down, three professors are going down with me. All I want is for my degrees to be conferred. I don't want no problems with anyone okay she also asks for prayers that she is still awarded her master's degree in counselor education it's amazing how people want to turn to god after they've had their butt buttocks out for the world to see now my question is to you miss terica williams did you ask the lord how he felt about your behind being out there butt bald naked as the old folk used to say by the school did you ask did you ask the Lord for that? You wasn't thinking about the Lord then, wasn't you? But now you're asking for God who has nothing to do with you out there taking pictures butt naked cuz that's certainly what you know, he wouldn't want you to do. But now you're asking for prayers. And you did the wrong thing. You messed up. And if your degree is not conferred, guess whose fault it is? yours okay yours and if you're going down three professors are going down with me and you know what and um uh, i was talking to one of my brothers i won't mention his name on this one but he said listen if those professors are going down with you it is because you were either number one you had some sort of sexual relationship with them or you got favors done that helped you get situations. Now you want to bring down other professors because you made a mistake. You're the one that made the mistake. 
So now you're going to snitch because you went out there and took a picture in front of the school. You shouldn't have any consequences for your actions. Let me tell you this. Here is another example of what I feel. And I'm seeing it a lot where women, especially in our community, feel like. And I'm using just this one woman here, but I do feel like this is a problem that is permeating. There are no consequences for whatever they do in life. They don't have to follow the rules. I'm not talking about all women, but there are women like Miss Terica who do fall into those parameters. You are too good to follow instructions. You are too good to follow the school's rules. You are too good to follow the school conducts. And let me just tell you this. If it was at a white school, let's say Florida State, which is across the street, you wouldn't try this shit. You're only trying it because it's a black college. After this school, I believe you got a lot of scholarships. You got this, a lot of the things in here for free. You don't have any respect for them. You want to do what you want to do for clout chasing. You wouldn't have never tried it with Florida State, but you try with our people. And now you're threatening to bring people back because you want your degree to convert. Well, if you wanted your degree conferred, why did you take the picture? See, because you thought she can do whatever the hell you want to do and nothing would happen to you. But see, that's that's life. And I want young people to understand. There are consequences for everything you do. Men understand it. 24-year-old black man is not going to go out there, pull his penis out, and swing it around and take a picture on Instagram. Talking about, I'm okay with my body. We already know better. Don't even think about it, okay? Black men understand not to do it. But now some of these ladies out here, they don't think that fat meat is greasy, guys. And see, here's the situation. You are gonna have consequences for your actions, whether you know it or not. How do we know this? Look at a lot of ladies in the black community. Oh, when you're 24, 30, I don't need no man. You know, these sorts of talking points and all of that stuff. And by the time you get 40, three kids, three different guys. I'm not saying this is all women, but it's some. What do you see? How has our life turned out? Well, it's, it's turned out according to the consequences of their behaviors, according to the decisions that they have made. You guys understand where I'm going with this. Look at any major black city and you'll see what I'm talking about. Most of these women that I'm talking about become very upset. They, they complain about the men and they fail to look at, here are the decisions that I made for myself. I made these decisions. I did it. But no, somebody else has to come down with you. And that's typically what happens when you have people that shouldn't be there. Whenever you're around people who make bad decisions, listen to what I'm going to say. They're going to bring the whole house down. That's why the black community is where it's at. Why? Terrica Williams. Oh, because I made a bad decision. Everybody has to suffer. That's the reason why blacks left Detroit. It's the same mindset. Oh, I got to suffer. Everybody got to suffer. Everybody's leaving Cincinnati. In black Cincinnati, black Little Rock, black Atlanta. It's just if, 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 if I have to suffer, everybody has to suffer. And you can't build communities around people like this. And then even if she gets the master's degree, who's going to hire you? Look at what you just did. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junker. Put your for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains all time high. I'm out.